want to win more gunfights in Apex Legends, pre-aiming is going to help you out. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I have another Apex Legends video for you, and we are going to be going over pre-aiming. This is a big tips and tricks for you guys to help you win more gunfights. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warrior so you guys don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to help you improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Now, let's jump into the firing range. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over pre-aiming, okay? Pre-aiming, I know it may seem like a silly concept, or most of you know it, but I feel like it's a tip or trick that's highly overlooked, especially in Apex Legends legends now for those of you who don't know pre-aiming is where you aim preemptively or ads before you shoot before you see the target okay it's pre-aiming so i'm already going to be pre-aiming wherever i'm looking at wherever i think the target is going to be at okay so today we're going to go over a couple tips to guys help you out in these gunfights in apex legends so with as fast as apex legends is this game is down to milliseconds it's a high paced game it's very fast so having every little advantage that you can get is a big huge bonus when it comes to team fighting because of how fast third parties come in fourth parties you know how fast some of these players and pros recover to get back into a fight so having any advantage you can in a gunfight is going to be huge all right so a couple of things i want to go over with pre-aiming guys is going to be pre-aiming people before you engage Okay, pre-aiming as they come around corners or where you think they're going to be coming from. And then pre-aiming compared to, you know, having to run up and ADS somebody. And then pre-aiming when you're running away or breaking line of sight. So let's get right into it. The first one is going to be pre-aiming before you know where those targets are coming up, right? Okay, you like... You're coming down this hill, okay, you hear some fighting Let's over here, here, and you know that you're getting closer and closer, or if you have Bloodhound, you can scan and know exactly where those players are, and then you're going to pre-aim as you come up over the hill or come around a corner, anything like that. I got my trusty R301 and my Volt. It's kind of been like my favorite combo this season, or I could swap the R3 for the flatline, but that's for a different video. So if I know somebody's somewhere over here, people. right, in this area Let's because this they're, they're fighting or whatever, or we just know we saw them from a distance and we're coming in, right? If I'm coming down this hill and I know they're somewhere around this corner, right? Somewhere over here, Let's okay? Let's go this way. If I'm coming up, I may turn and just pre-aim this to know like, hey, I know as soon as I pop around this corner, they're going to be there and I can fire first. So if I come around this corner and I see him, right, I can light him up. Now, the difference between that and then doing this is milliseconds it may not seem like it's a big advantage but it definitely is because you're already focused in on where your target is right so doing this if everybody does this on your team it'll help you out or even if one person does you could have one person move up oh boom shoot somebody call out the targets and have your other teammates you know go to ape them right so this is huge compared to just like all right where are they oh okay and that may seem fast but it's not as fast if i'm like already trying to sneak up get the advantage and boom you know get the drop on these guys let's grab some more ammo okay so moving moving to an area where you know that these guys are at is huge like again if i'm already pre-aiming i'm like oh boom god i missed a lot of shots there don't judge me on my aim chat oh boom okay right so that's the first one is to pre-aim no you know coming up to a spot and that's only if you're trying to be like super sneaky and try to get you know a couple of those shots where you know if you're waiting to just look and identify where a target is and then ads and shoot it's much easier if i already know they're here and boom i just pop out and lay the work down lay the hate okay guys next up is pre-aiming where targets are going to be coming into the crossfire is essentially what we're doing here so if i know that these targets are here and they don't know where i am or our team is and i know that the zone or you know, if they're fighting another team and the only way for them to retreat is to go this Let's way, reposition here. you know, having that information is valuable because then if somebody crosses the here, I have the complete crossfire, right? Essentially, it's a great military trick, you know, if they cross here, I can just light them up as they're moving, right? All three of them before they move and they have no idea that we're sitting here waiting. Now, this is another good trick along with, you know, if you just see one and you, as soon as they pop out, you just... Boom, it's great for third partying, especially when your team has been killed and you're a rat, right? You're ratting it out, you're just trying to get those extra points. You know that a team is gonna come this way because they're fighting, You and they come out and you boom, you just pop and shoot them, right? You get some free easy kills. So that's another one is the crossfire. Along with that is, 
if a team is chasing you, you get into a fight. Oh, I get into a fight with this guy. He's hurt me. I'm trying to run away, right? And I break line of sight. Okay, now he can no longer see me. Okay, he can't see me. A lot of the times, players in Apex or most fighter or shooting games where, you know, it's all about getting those points, especially in rank, guys, they're going to try to ape you. They're going to try to finish you off. They know you're hurt. They know, you know, that you're just trying to get away and heal. And a lot of the times, if you're close enough, they're going to chase you. So if he's chasing me, as soon as I cut around this corner, I've, bro I've broken line of sight. Now, in most cases, that player is going to follow you, okay? So if I turn around, regardless of my health, shields, my health, you know, you, feel, you felt like you dealt a lot of damage to that guy. If you come around and he runs around this corner, you're already pre-aiming him. Those seconds are huge. You can fire off so many bullets as he's coming around the corner. If he's like, oh, crap, he doesn't know exactly where you are, right? You broke line of sight. So he come around the corner, then he identifies where you are and then tries to ADS. Or, you know, if you sometimes if you get a person who's just accustomed to just chasing and hit firing, they may do that. But I feel like a lot of players are going to come around this corner, try to find you, and then ADS you. But if I break line of sight, turn, and I'm already ADSing, preparing for that headshot with that multiplier, you know what I mean? I can end you regardless of how much damage I've taken. And that's huge. You get a knock, right? Then you could come back, hide in the corner, and heal. You know, or if you're lucky enough, you could try to finish him off, armor swap, and then continue the fight. But breaking line of sight is a big, big thing in Apex Legends. And I know what you guys are going to say. Bloodhound, you know, really kind of defeats this strategy. But at the same time, unless you got Bloodhound chasing you, it's going to work. So again break line of sight turn around just ready for him to come boom and sometimes guys you may lose that gunfight but the point is is that you broke line of sight and you're already pre-aiming this person and you could possibly defeat them right you could boom you could finish them off boom my teammates are trying to invite me to play some rank today and then you can finish the target okay so those are the tips that i'm gonna have for you guys for pre-aiming now the last one that i want to go over is just the difference between already pre-aiming to having to ads now in ar you know it ar and subs ads a lot differently subs are a lot faster ars are a little bit slower you know shotguns are a little bit slower and lmgs are a little bit slower okay so but these seconds although it only seems like milliseconds to do the difference between this already pre-aiming to shoot and then the seconds it takes to ads it may not seem a lot if you're a good player, but in the game, it definitely is. It can give you a huge advantage in a gunfight. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I really do help, hope that it uh, helped you guys out. I know pre-aiming seems like a little bit of an overstated or simple concept, or, but I just don't see enough players doing it in Apex Legends, and I don't think that it's something that, you know wouldn't help you so i wanted to make this video and help you guys out so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like that really does help me out let me know down in the comments how much pre-aiming has helped you if you go practice in the fire range if you're in the real game let me know down in the comments all right if you're also if you're new here be sure to subscribe guys join the warriors so you don't miss out on all the future tips and tricks to help you improve your apex legends gameplay and for me warlug as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace